Alright guys and welcome to episode 5 of this FIFA 12 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Now like I say at the beginning of every episode, just in case there are one or two new people that have come in, um, the Road to Glory, the, the glory for me is when I eventually win the Advanced Cup online and as you can see we crack on in the quarter finals at the beginning of this episode because we did win the last game in the last episode. So yeah, I mean, no, no changes to my team that I remember of, and we started against FC Diarville. Um, it was when I saw his team, I was like, whoa, he's gone for a pacey team because he's got Jermaine Defoe up front, he's got Theo Walcott, Kieran Gibbs, Matthew Etherington. It's a Premier League team. It's a pace team, and then, but he was playing four five one, and once or twice I played against four five one, and for whatever reason, I just seemed to do quite well against him. I mean, as you can see here, the fifteenth minute, Danny Welbeck <laughs> laid it uh, laid it across to Akinde, and I'm just gonna warn you now, it's just a lot of sweaty goals. I mean, this made it two nil. Yeah, again another sweaty goal, and I am gonna stop these sweaty goals. I, I kind of felt quite bad when I was scoring them. I was just like, ah, oh, well, I've got to kind of pass it across because you you just won't pass up that opportunity in real life. But yeah, like I said, I am gonna I am gonna try my best to stop them. But deservedly, he gets a goal. Jermaine Defoe just just walked past all my defenders basically because they've got no pace whatsoever. I need to make it two one. But then just as we came out in the second half, Danny Welbeck picked up the ball, put it into the back of the net to make it three one, and finally a goal that wasn't a sweaty goal. So we can score these type of goals, but it's just whenever I'm running down the wing and like there's someone just bang next to me, I'm just like, well, I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity to pass it and score a goal. It'd just be a bit stupid at times. But yeah, I mean, he came back straight away in the 66 minute. Kieran Gibbs with a great goal, I have to say, well taken. But then we got a quick free kick in the 68th minute. Danny Welbeck laid it across. Sorry, Akinde laid it across to Danny Welbeck. And we picked up yet another sweaty goal. I'm quickly skipping these sweaty goals because they're not great to watch, I'll, I'll be honest. And quite embarrassing to score them. But in the 85th minute, Danny Welbeck stormed the wrong goal all the way down the pitch and put it into the back of the net to make it 5 1. And that is how the game finished 5 2. Sorry, I, I forgot he scored um, a goal with Kieran Gibbs. But yeah, I mean. It was a great result, and one that I was quite surprised with. When I saw his pace team, I thought, well, he's going to just tear my defence apart because I've got no pace in my defence whatsoever with, like, Ian Sharps, and now I've got Ngala in defence. I had Danny Bath last time, but Danny Bath, I think, got um, injured or something. I think he was injured. It was uh, it was something. I can't, I can't remember why. But anyway, yeah, just before that game, I signed Jack Rodwell, and, yeah, as you can see, I, I, I don't know about Danny Bath. I've completely forgot if he was injured or suspended. I cannot remember for the life of me. I, he didn't get sent off, so he probably injured. But yeah, less rambling. And also, I did sign Mark Albrighton as well. So two decent Premier League players that should really improve my team. And as we went to search for the next opponent, we got ready for the game. And I looked at his team. I thought, wow, he's got like a full Brazilian defence. And then he's got three of the four midfielders that are Brazilian. He's got two really, really pacey strikers that play in the Russian league. So his chemistry is a deserved 99. All he need is a manager to make it 100. But... I sat like this for absolutely ages, as you can see, and I did actually leave it for a full 10 minutes just to see if anything ha would happen, but nothing happened, and I dashboarded because I was waiting 10 minutes and it was just on the screen. Came back onto Ultimate Team, and annoyingly, I'd been kicked out of the tournament, but in my eyes, that was payback for scoring all those sweaty goals to get me into the semi finals. So, and it didn't even count as a loss, which was another thing that I was confused. So, anyway, I got to start from scratch again but like I said I'm not going to be bothered because I deserved it after all the sweaty goals I did score to get into the semi-finals and then we cracked on with the next game as you can see Danny Bath is back so I don't have a clue why he was out but yeah I mean came up against MGW United and obviously he had a full Manchester United team but everyone was out of position well not everyone but loads of people were out of position like he had Hernandez centre attack mid he had Ryan Giggs left back and apart from well, apart from Pepe Reina and Sergio Busquets, which is quite odd, but yeah, he went. He came forward in the 17th minute. Rafael put a ball into the box. Dimitar Berbatov headed it into the back of the net. 17 minutes gone. He was one 0 up, and I was. I didn't. I'd not had any chances at all at this point, so I was a bit worried. But then, this happened a lot. Sergio Busquets passed it to Akinde. Akinde laid it off to Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck got inside it and put it into the bottom corner I think I think it's quite funny actually Danny Welbeck scoring against the full Man United team he's in the Man United kits, he's at Old Trafford he's got everyone bar Pepe Reina and Sergio Busquets at <laughs> Manchester United and then again he passed it out to me to Akinde and Akinde was just like well thank you very much I'll take that goal so put us 2-1 up and then just before half time Akinde burst through again how 
how we can they would get past all those defenders like Ferdinand, Busquets, beat Reina. It it just wouldn't happen, but it happens on Ultimate Team, and I will take it because that puts us three one up. And then in the 55th minute, we got forward again. Again, they stormed forward, and yeah, there was only one thing I was going to do, and that was sweat it out, even at three one up. I'm now slightly embarrassed to say the least, so, and then in the 68th minute, I was just hovering around with Welbeck, not even marking anyone, and he still passed it out to me. So Danny Welbeck just turned the defender and put it into the back of the net, and he rage quit. Well, I can only assume he rage quit, obviously I do take it back and I apologise if he didn't rage quit, but it's... It'd be a massive coincidence if I go 5-1 up and then he so, and then the connection suddenly lost after we were playing a game that had really good connections. So yeah, we won that game 5-1 and we do go on into the quarterfinals. So now we are into the last match of this episode. And as you can see just before that match, I signed one or two players. First of all, I signed Mark Little at right back for 200 coins. His pace is 81, so it's pretty decent. Defending 65, is, is a bronze, is a, one of them rare bronze, I don't know what you call it, shiny bronze. And he should do alright in my team, I'm trying to build a, I'm trying to build two or three different teams, so he'll probably go well into a bronze team or something like that. And I also signed Nile Ranger, another, another black man that's really fast, and such a joy to play with really. Unfortunately though, I came up against a kid who'd made a full Spanish team, and I was like, holy crap. I've never come up against a full Spanish team before, but I, I was not looking forward to it at all. I just thought, yeah, I'm going to get probably turned over here. And in the in the third minute, David Silva just, just walked past all my defenders, just got through on goal and just perfectly put it into the far corner as Joe Lewis came rushing out to try and off-put him, but he wasn't going to be off-put. And then only tw in the 12th minute, sorry, Ian Sharps, what a ridiculous challenge that was. I don't know why I made it at all. And he got a penalty kick. Amazingly, Ian Sharps only got a yellow card for that. I'm not really sure how. Did get a bit lucky there. And David Villa stepped up to take the penalty. And, yeah, I was thinking... I, I had no idea where it was going to go, obviously. But I did go the right way. Unfortunately, though, he did get he did get the ball over me. And it was 2-0 with 12 minutes gone. And now I was fearing the worst. He just looked so in control. Fortunately, though, it took until the 60th minute for him to get another goal, and it was an absolute stunning goal. I mean, when you see the movement he had, to be fair, though, when he crossed it in, I did try to hit it with Danny Bath. I thought, well, I'm not, I don't want him to score it. If I score it, then it's fine. But no, David Silva did beat me to the header. And then in the 90th minute, Niall Ranger had a final chance to get a goal because I did want a goal, but I didn't manage to get the goal. So it did finish Leather Padge 3, Night Fury FC 0. So we are out at the quarterfinal stage, but not too bad because I'm still trying to build my team around. And I did look at those Sunderland players that someone mentioned. Um, Wes Brown, I can't remember the other two, but I looked at them and for whatever reason, I don't think I could afford any of them or they just didn't seem to fit in. So this is where I'm going to leave the episode now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next episode. See you later, guys.